Hi guys, Gatori here. Welcome to Love to Nampika. So today we're gonna make onion rings. Think crispy, light, flavorful, yet delicious onion rings. Join me. needed for the onion rings are the onions da and now for the onions you need to use this yellow sweet onion the onion taste is less sharp with these onions unlike the red stroke purple onions and then we'll also need flour this is just plain all-purpose flour for the flavor we'll need paprika we have garlic powder salt freshly ground black pepper and then to bring everything together we're going to need sparkling water and you might wonder why sparkling water since the water is carbonated the carbon dioxide in the water will form air bubbles so the butter when you make the butter and you coat the onion rings they'll be very airy and crispy and light because of the air pockets and it will just be perfect so now in our bowl we put our flour the ingredients will be on the tunapika.com, I'll put the link down in the description box. Then we put the aromatics. Just give it a stir. Then we set it aside. We'll add the sparkling water much later. For the onions, I've already prepared some. So it's just simple. You peel the onion, then you slice it. Half, almost half an inch thick or slightly smaller you want to be able to bite into the onion you don't want it to disappear into the butter so once you've peeled your onion using a sharp knife hopefully it's sharper than mine you cut into rings as I've said slightly below half an inch that's the thickness you want don't worry about the ends and the wastage you can use that for you can cut it up and use it in another recipe for example if you want to fry some beef so once you make the onion and you slice them you gently pull them apart so that you get the individual rings so it's as simple as that this is how we get the rings so once you have all your onion rings prepared and ready uh, the next thing you need to do is now work on the butter, the butter that we'll dip the onions in. And I talked about the ingredients, the flour, the paprika, the garlic powder, salt, and of course the black pepper. I usually like using freshly ground because trust me, once you go freshly ground, the already ground one tastes, lacks that sharpness of black pepper. So this one you can put as much or as little as you like. Then after putting the black pepper, now we add the sparkling water. I've decided to make this last because um, from my research, the carbonated water, once you put it in the flour mixture, it's good to use for like 15 minutes. That's when it still has the carbon dioxide so that the, when you coat it, it will be able to make the onion rings crispy and airy. We are going for an air, uh, a light butter, like you're making those thin pancakes. So yeah, just add the sparkling water. Also, fun fact, in case you don't want to use sparkling water, you can also use beer. I've worked with both, but I've preferred the taste when working with sparkling water. Yeah, so just add the water and stir it in. Don't worry if it has some lumps. That's okay. We just want it to be light and thin. And then another thing, since there is no raw eggs or maybe raw chicken in this, I usually give it a little taste so that I know whether I need to add something else. Hmm. I can taste the garlic, the paprika, even the black pepper. I just need to add a little salt, just a pinch and we'll be good to go. So now, here is our butter. As you can see, it's pretty light. It's not so viscous. So 
this is how you want it to be so that you can be able to coat the onion rings. So yeah, next step, dip in your onions. And as you're doing this, this is the point to put your oil to start heating up because we are going to deep fry the onion rings. So you want the oil to be heating up as they are being coated. So yeah, just coating them in the butter. And then we'll move to the cooker and we fry these babies and we are ready to munch. So now we are ready to fry. So you take your onion rings, the ones you coated. So one thing you need to know, uh, you need the oil to be very hot so that once the onion rings hit the oil, they start frying. So to test how hot it is and you don't have a thermometer, you can use a wooden spoon. So you dip it, when bubbles form around it, you know your oil is hot enough. Mine has formed bubbles, so it's hot enough. Now, you can choose to either use a fork, with my fork, or you use your hand. So, let's try the fork way. So you just take, you put it one at a time, try to drip the excess, then put it in the oil. Uh, once more, another tip when deep frying, never crowd the pan because it will reduce the temperature of the oil and then of course that means they will fry at a lower pace. Yeah, so, so that's it. My pan is not so wide so I put around five of them. Then using my handy dandy spider, that's what it's called, it goes downwards. Yeah. Once one side is done, you just turn it over. So just, as you can see, just a few, like one minute on each side. Then you take a plate, line it with some paper towel so that they drain off the excess oil can drain off. So there you have it. And we are back, done with the frying the onion rings. Just one last step, sprinkle some little salt and we are ready to eat. So here we have, I bet you have the crunch. That's because of the sparkling water. So anytime you make onion rings, be sure to use sparkling water. I have some dip here, just plain on ketchup. So this was Love to Napika. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and of course, comments are welcome. And other thing, if you want to keep up with my recipes and what I do during the week, you can follow me on my social, on Instagram, Facebook, on Twitter. I go by Love to Napika. Thank you. Kwaheri.